Hi. I've created a um, interesting type of ball cutter that uh, fits uh, specifically for the 8x12 and 8x14 um, lathes. I um, use this little dust cover here to uh, cover the chips um, from falling into the, uh, the lathe bed because I have it moved up so high, so that's what's going on there. Um, the lathe cutter itself mounts to where the compound usually sits. Uh, it has um, a uh, 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 adjustable uh, pivot point so that um, you can either create balls or you can create um, indentations in your lathe work. Um, it allows you to do it very precisely and you can adjust the center line slightly um, because it uses uh, um, essentially what's a, a quick change tool post holder design so that you can stick um, 3 8 inch tools in there comfortably um, and have them line up with center uh, on the uh, on the lathe and then uh, you can adjust it slightly with shims if it doesn't quite match yours um, but uh, generally it's designed well for these 8 by 12s and 8x14s. Uh, the other neat feature of this this tool is that um, this quick adjust feature um, is cam locked and it's very secure so that once you get a nice firm fitting um, the uh, the um, tool uh, rests nicely in there without any chatter and allows you to uh, create some nice work. I'll give you a demonstration. All right. Um, right now, uh, we're set up for um, basically a um, half-inch groove, and I'll finish up this work, and then we'll revert to a ball cutter design. Note, I leave uh, a hundred thousandths of a, a bit of play just so I can wiggle back the uh, tool post enough to um, allow you to reverse a run and not push it into the work. Now we're going to uh, quickly uh, adjust, you know, how quickly we can go from an indentation to a ball. And uh, a nice little ball with this. We've got a, I got a graduation here that allows me to eyeball and right now it's a set of quarter quarter inch markings. So we make a a half inch ball by setting it up there. What's basically happening there is that the point of the carbide is um, roughly on uh, one quarter inch mark. So that our diameter will be a quarter inch or a half inch ball. Obviously, didn't I, to work on these guys down here. I was uh, doing a little bit more finish work and spent a little bit more time here for this quick demonstration. I'm running real rough, but I just wanted to give you an idea of the power of the tool and how it can work. I'm really cutting fast here, as you can see. I'm burning up some carbide. You can see that point's had a few chips in it that's been turned. I'm on the last leg of three. So as, as I give my relatively new 8x12 a workout.
accidentally and cut this machine. Uh, this machine in my mini mill basically made this tool in a few afternoons. It was a, an interesting, interesting way to, to give a test drive and add some capability to my new machine. And you can see how that would work out. I could basically keep going around and cutting, and if it was at the end of the post, you could basically use it to uh, to mark the end and create a full spherical object with a knob at the end. Anyway, thank you for your time.